This video is on manifesting breakthroughs. It's a step-by-step -step process. There's four steps. I'm going to go over them and you can put them into practice today. My name is Gloria. I'm a life coach. I have information on that below. But let's dive right into this. So the first one is pattern interruption. And what, what I'm asking you to do on that one is to change something in your daily routine. Because when we want to manifest, that requires change. And as much as we want it, our ego resists change. Our ego wants the same thing day after day. So with pattern interruption, you are getting your mind, your body, your vibration ready for changes and welcoming them. So you might ask, well, how do I do this? Well, maybe you redecorate your house, switch it around. Maybe take a different route to work. If you stop for coffee, go to a different coffee store. If you don't exercise, start exercising. Maybe you do a kind of a makeover, change your hair, change, uh, buy some different kinds of clothes than you normally would. What you're doing is shaking it up. Instead of Groundhog Day, where every day is the same, day in and day out, you're shaking it up. And this is also not only for your vibration to get used to change, but it also helps you when you get impatient with what's, what you want to manifest in your life. You're going to shake it up. Taking a different route to work, um, going somewhere, a different restaurant, you never know what the universe may give you some type of opportunity in that. So the first one is pattern interruption. The second, and this, the, the next three are all with the R's. The first is to reset your intentions. Now you probably have intentions of what you want to manifest, but they get old, they get stale. So I want you to reset them and write them down. Not only are you going to write them, but you're going to read them every morning. This is like your map for where you want to go. And you start out, my intention is. My intention is, and there could be more than one. My intention is to find a new job. My intention is to be prosperous and share my wealth with others. So reset those intentions, even if you have them, rewrite them, write them down, and read them every single morning. That's how your, your map, your guidepost to where you're going, the beam of light, reset intentions. The third one is to release limitations. That, I think this is probably one of the biggest ones. Release the limitations. We, we put our intentions, we're doing our affirmations, and we think, oh, this can't possibly happen. We made one minute, yes, we want this intention, oh, it's not going to happen. So when you write your intentions, release the limitations. Give it to God. Put it in God's hands. Ask for what you want and then put it in God's hand. Have the faith, have faith that it's going to come into your life and surrender to how it's going to come in. Now I know that's a big ask. The faith and the surrender are big asks, but you've got to release the limitations and you could do some tools. Meditation helps with that. Affirmations, maybe some time in nature but try and do whatever you can to release the limitations. Have faith that it's going to come in. And again, once you have that faith, surrender. Just surrender and miracles will come into your life. Now the fourth one, the fourth R, we did reset intentions, release limitations, and the fourth is to rewrite your story. This is a tough one. Just because something happened in the past, you're manifesting, you're changing, you have that power. Doesn't mean it's going to come into the future. So you have to rewrite that story. The best way, I think, is scripting. I have some videos on that, which I'll put the links below. So scripting is a great way to rewrite your story. And what is scripting? You could do it orally, but I prefer to write it down. You just have to write it once, because then once you get it in your head. And what this does is it also raises your vibration so you get in the feeling and the emotions of what you want. So scripting is you're writing a story and you're the star of the story. And in the story that you're writing, 
down on paper <laughs> and what's in that story is you manifesting what you want. So if it's a new job, write about a day in your job. You get up, where you go to work, who do you interact with, what are you wearing? Be as concise and specific as possible. Because again, you want to raise your vibration and get that feeling that it already exists. And that's how you're going to pull it in to manifest in your life. So the four, pattern interruption, reset your intentions, release limitations, and rewrite the story with that scripting. I'm sending you lots of love and light. If you have any questions, write to me in the comments, but I'll see you next time.